everybody, welcome back to Cascadia Dispatch, prepping for non-preppers. I'm Casey, and today we are going to talk about the seven Costco winter preps and a bonus. If you wait till the end, I got a bonus for you that I think you should go out and check out now before winter really sets in. I know we are in December technically. Winter doesn't start until the end of December, but I think weather-wise, we're all getting the, the cold and the frost and the potential for snow and rain and storms. So before all that comes in, these are some things you should go probably stock up on right now to get you through the next couple of months. Before we get started, if you wouldn't mind, I got cool new subscribe and like animation-y kind of things going on here. So it would be great if you wouldn't mind hitting the buttons, uh, and letting us know that you like the animations, that you like the videos. Uh, it helps YouTube share them with other people. Uh, there were some people in the last video who wanted to wait till the end before they hit the like button. Very shrewd, very shrewd. But if you're a fan and you've been here for a while, or if you just feel like spreading some positivity today, go ahead and hit it now. You'll have an opportunity at the end of the video as well. So kicking off, number one is food. Uh, food is obviously an important thing. We talk about food and preparing with storing food all the time for a variety of situations. In this case, likely you have been stocking up if you've been watching our videos, uh, if you've been watching the last couple of videos on all the lockdowns and the quarantines and all of that sort of stuff, you've probably been stocking up and have some sort of a prepper pantry or a working pantry or just a storage area in your garage maybe where you're storing food in case you can't get to the store. In this case specifically because it's winter likely there will be power outages as it relates to storms or maybe there's extra ice or snow that you're not used to. In Oregon we don't get a ton of ice and snow so if there's even a little bit it really throws a wrench in all of our plans and closes stores and schools. So having two or three or an extra week, uh, two or three days or an extra week of food available is really great because then you can make sure that you don't need to go to the grocery store if your car can't get there and you don't wanna walk. Specifically because we are talking about power outages as it relates to winter time, then you really wanna focus on food that doesn't need refrigeration or freezer space. You probably already have food in your refrigerator and in your freezer as we've talked about stocking up for coronavirus and uh, just general disasters, having food in your freezer and in your refrigerator. But for this specifically, because we are worried about possibly power outages, I would recommend canned goods. Um, I'd recommend anything in jars, shelf stable, rice, beans, all of that sort of stuff that if power goes out, you don't need to any of that to store. You don't need any kind of specifically cold temperatures, it's gonna be fine on the shelf and in a couple of days when the power goes back on, everything will be fine. A couple of side notes too for everyone who's watching the videos. Yes, you still can get corn dogs. That's totally okay. They are, yes, delicious. And if you need to freeze something, it'll be fine. Put them in your freezer, that's good. Also as a side note, for those of us parents who are dealing with not only working from home perhaps, but having kids at home and doing distance learning and everything else, there may be some special food related items um, here that you know you might want to look into. Um, these are very wintry, so you know sometimes you need a popsicle for yourself. Um, and other times, you know, in the morning you may need a little boost for your coffee, a little creamer, uh, a little flavoring, and then maybe a little something else. Just throwing it out there. Not advocating for anyone to do anything like that. I'm just saying there are options available. Just a quick comment on water, because I know in the comments in all of my previous videos when I have talked about Costco and preparedness and preparedness items at Costco, everybody, even though I say in the videos, says, what about water? You need to have water. We gotta have water. Yes, you need to have water as a preparedness item. 100% agree. My issue has always been that Costco is not the best place to get the water that you would need in an emergency. You get lots of great stuff at Costco, but water at Costco is usually stored or sold in the small water bottles, either the half liter or the full liter bottles. You can't really get gallons there. And when you are trying to think about water for any extended period of time, usually you're thinking in gallons per person. So having tons and tons of water bottles is not the most efficient way to store it. It's not the most efficient way to buy it. You can get it way less expensive and way, uh, easier to store other places like a grocery store. 
Number two is clothes, specifically warm clothes. Uh, tank tops, not really a thing in the wintertime, but Costco has a variety of warm clothes. I was just there the other day. They've got ski jackets. They've got just sweatshirty type jackets and coats and socks and underlayer. They have their 32 degrees um, clothes that are kind of like an underlayer. Uh, my kids wear them as pajamas a lot of the time. We have them for if we ever go skiing or if it gets really cold and we want to wear them. Super comfortable. Uh, they've been on sale for a really long time. They may still be on sale, so go ahead and check them out. There are a variety of winter clothes that are currently on sale at Costco. Coats, gloves, socks, all kinds of stuff. It's a fantastic place to get clothes like that, especially because if you're getting them for kids, Again, in Oregon, it doesn't snow that often. So if I get a snow coat or hats or any of that sort of stuff for the kids, now, not necessarily hats, but we'll go with the snow jacket sort of an idea. If it doesn't really snow and the kids don't wear it, they're gonna have outgrown it likely by the next season, by the next time we, we get around the year and it's winter time again. So at Costco, I can buy it now while it's in stock. I can have it. If they use it, great, they use it. If they don't use it, then in a couple of months when snow weather is out of the, the realm of possibility, I can always take it back and then I can get another one next year when they might need it again. So the return policy at Costco is, again, fantastic. We have talked about this before. It's one of the reasons I love it. Uh, I need to go to a Sam's Club and see if they have something similar. I've heard Sam's Club is wonderful. Sadly, we don't have a Sam's Club in our area. So the next time I'm out of state, I'm gonna have to make a special trip to Sam's Club. If, if you feel the same way about Sam's Club, let us know in the comments below as someone who does not know much about Sam's Club. Number three is batteries, lights, power. Again, we're talking about winter time, snowstorms, ice storms, storm storms, uh, any of those things that can cause a blackout. In our area, most of the utilities are underground, so we don't get a ton of blackouts as it relates to weather storms. Uh, there are some power lines that are up above, so if the right power line gets hit, we'll get a blackout, or if a transformer blows, we'll get a blackout. For the most part, we're okay in that sense of the word, but in lots of other places, in rural areas, other areas of the country, other areas of our city even, the power lines are above ground. And so in a windstorm and an ice storm, if one of those lines comes down, you can have a blackout. And depending on how many blackouts there are and how much ice and storm damage there is, it may take a while for the electric company to come back and repair those. So in the meantime, stocking up on batteries, Duracell is currently on sale at Costco, which is fantastic. If you prefer the Duracell brand over the Kirkland brand, I tend to be kind of brand agnostic when it comes to those two. The Kirkland batteries have been great for us. The Duracell batteries are really good. So whichever one is the less expensive is usually what I get, but I always stock up on those. Those are on sale right now. There are these very cool little kind of lanyard flashlights that we got for the kids for camping. It was one of those things that I bought and my wife looked at me and said, why did you buy this? And I was like, cause it's gonna be fun and we'll see what happens. Uh, they ended up being a great addition to our camping plan. They're little glow light looking flashlights. And so when you click on them, they either light up like a glow stick or they turn into a flashlight. The kids really like them. Uh, they have three different colors. So we actually were three different families. So each family had its own color. So it was really easy to see whose kid was where when you know it started to get dark and we were at the campsite, who was who and where everybody was. You can also attach them to backpacks and all kinds of things. So if you don't have a snap chem light, you can use these very similarly. The kids really like them because they're flashlights for them, but they're also plastic and they're inexpensive. So if they drop and break, not a big deal. I got a couple of packages of them when they were on sale in the summer. They are back on sale now. So if you're thinking about it, definitely a cool thing to get one, get two, get a couple of three, whatever, uh, put them away. And then, you know, if you use them, great. If you don't take them back to Costco. Headlamps are also fantastic. And the Duracell ones are available at Costco. They also have, you know, standard flashlights. Headlamps are great because it allows you to have your hands free. So if you, you know, are walking on icy things or it's frosty, you want to have your hands available if you are falling or something like that. You don't want to be, you know, smashing your hand with a flashlight in, in, in your hand. But not always are we preparing for blackouts. This could just be, hey, it's getting darker out and you still wanna go and have your nightly walk or you need to go outside for some reason. Having a headlamp is gonna be really helpful for being able to see where you're going or see what you're doing in those sorts of situations. Number four is heaters and heating equipment. 
Granted, these aren't necessarily individual items at Costco. They're more categories, I get that. But I feel like when you go to Costco, if you say get this specific heater, sometimes that heater isn't maybe necessarily the best one for you, but the idea of getting a heater is important. So granted, I'm kind of doing categories as opposed to individual items, but I think you see the point. So for heaters, there are a bunch of different types of heaters at Costco. Some of them are on sale. A bunch of them were on sale during some of the holiday sales, so they're more limited stock, but there are a variety of them that are available. When I was there, I found a couple of different kinds, the kind of ceramic tower ones, and then also the kind of this radiant dish style one. Get whichever one, you know, it is best for you and have a couple in your house. They're fantastic if your furnace goes out. Our furnace went out last year, as well did our air conditioner. So we had both the fan and the heater issue uh, over last year. And it is not awesome to be without a central heating source during the winter time, especially if it's gonna take a couple of days for either the repair people to get out or to get a new one, especially in uh, COVID times where that can be even delayed even more. So having a heater that you can plug in, assuming you don't have a power outage, then that would be a wonderful thing. Also, if you just don't wanna run your furnace because that may be more expensive than running a space heater in um, specific rooms in your house as a way to save money, that's also an option that you can use. Blankets are one of those things that I often think you can't have too many blankets unless you run out of space in all your shelves and house. Blankets are super versatile. You can use it for bedding, you can use it for warmth, you can use it for all different kinds of things. And when it comes to winter time, having extra blankets, again, if you maybe wanna drop your furnace down a little bit so you're not spending money on heat overnight and throw a couple extra blankets on your bed, that's always an option if, let's say, somebody needs to come over because they're having a power outage in their area and they need to, to spend the night on the couch or something, you've got extra blankets for them. If the kids want extra blankets, they've got that you kind of can't go wrong with having extra blankets. Do you think you can go wrong with having, are there too many blankets that you can have? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, we have also used the vacuum seal bags. They make big blanket size vacuum seal bags to store them away. So they don't take up tons of space and they're, they're not that big of a deal. Costco has tons and tons of different types of blankets. They have fleece blankets, they have Sherpa blankets, they have big quilts, they have heated blankets, which again, if you're not in a power outage, super warm and wonderful you can shut off your furnace almost entirely and just do an electric heated blanket and that'll that'll cover you but there's lots and lots of options go check it out and find whichever one grab a couple use those the new ones as your kind of regular blankets rotate through your old blankets put them on a shelf for emergencies or something like that we keep a lot of them in tubs either you know in crawl spaces in closets so in case something were to happen we have blankets kind of spread throughout the house but again, I don't think you can have too many blankets unless you've started to really run out of space and you are trying to decide whether or not to store a case of water or a bunch of blankets. Number five is items for your home repair, home exterior. This is a weird category, but there were a couple of things and I was trying to tie it all together. So this is all about things that can happen outside your house or inside your house that are kind of structural stuff. So the first thing in this is tarps. Costco has a great tarp that they sell and it's usually in a two pack it's really reasonably priced i have a bunch of these they're big heavy duty tarps love them these are great if for example you get a leak in your roof or a tree falls and takes out a window or something like that there's all kinds of weird things that can happen in the winter especially as it relates to storms and if it happens to you likely it's happening to a few other people there's only so many roofers in your area there's only so many people that can come to seal off whatever that area is. So having a tarp for that is fantastic. You can use tarps for a lot of other things, but I've often seen people, especially during hurricanes and things where they have roof damage, you put a tarp over the roof to kind of keep it dry until you can get it fixed. So having a tarp available for that is a really, really smart idea. And you can get them at Costco for really inexpensive. They're big tarps, they're heavy duty, they're great. The tarps happen to be sitting right underneath the Gorilla Glue duct tape which, I mean, you can't have too much of this kind of tape. Come on, people. So anyway, while you're there, grab a tarp, grab some duct tape. Duct tape fixes so many different things, especially when you're waiting for repair people. So grab one of those. It's just good to have. Since we are talking about heaters and things like that, uh, wood stoves, fireplaces, stuff, you know, the, the smokes and combustion, having carbon monoxide detectors that are 
active and not expired. Carbon monoxide detectors, just like smoke detectors, do have an expiration date. Um, I think it's between seven and 10 years, depending on which brand and which type and all of that. So check your specific ones. If you have one, check the one you have. If you don't have one, go get one uh, and make sure that you have it and it's active. Number six is cold and flu-ish type medications. So a lot of people at the beginning of the pandemic went and stocked up on a lot of this stuff because we weren't really sure what was going on, but we knew it was kind of like a cold, kind of like a flu, kind of awful, kind of worse than everything. So I went out, you know, in March and got a bunch of Mucinex and Tylenol cold and all of those sorts of things, just to make sure we had it as more science was kind of running through and telling us what was going on. As we get into now, Yes, that all still applies, but we have just the regular cold and flu season, which even though most of us are staying at home, there's still a possibility you're gonna get a cold or a flu and you're gonna pass it around to people. So just because you don't get the awful thing doesn't mean you're not gonna get something that's still not great. Costco has all kinds of these medications. You can get them uh, for a much more reasonable price than you can at a lot of different grocery stores and things like that. So I recommend going out, grabbing a, a few of these, whatever you prefer. Everyone kind of has their cold medicine they prefer and their herbal supplements that they prefer. We get elderberry gummies and multivitamins for the kids and ourselves and that sort of thing. Go out and pick all that stuff up. Make sure you've got it so you can kind of keep your immune system up and doing its best as we head into this season. And then if you do get something, you have the medications to deal with it. Number seven, we are almost to the bonus, but number seven is winter driving preps. So these are things that when you're driving, you know, it could be snow, could be cold, could be lots of different things. The first item on my list is the Type S battery chargers or battery jumpers that, that Costco sells. There's a lot of conversation about how effective these type of chargers and jumpers are. I've read a lot of different articles and a lot of different reviews and everyone kind of feels like they're all wonderful and awful at the same time. I don't know how that's possible, but that seems to be the consensus. These I got last year because again, with the Costco return policy, I figured if I get one of these and it doesn't work, I'm gonna take it back to Costco, but I might as well check it out. I've had four different jumps on two different cars with this and it has worked every single time. It's fantastic. Um, the only time it didn't work was the time that it wasn't charged. But the four times that it was charged and ready to go, not a problem. So. I really, really recommend these. I recommend having one of these in your car. You can use it as a battery bank and a flashlight, but realistically, charge it and keep it for, for an emergency in case you need to jump your car. Uh, you can have other battery banks in your car for charging your phone. This should really be for in case you need to jump your car. Costco also had a variety of kind of like car de-icers and de-snowers and things like that you know, whichever one you prefer. They had one that was kind of like a, a, almost like a cloth that you put over the car to do it. They had this one that is kind of like a broom with a de-icer on it. I have a bunch of different kinds of them. Um, some are shorter and some are longer to get the roof and just kind of depends on, on what the weather looks like and how much ice and snow I think I'm gonna have to get off the car. But these are a really handy tool to have. And since they are at Costco, again, get it for the, the season. And if you don't need it, you can always take it back. Kitty litter is one of those things that you don't think about when it comes to cars or anything else. Um, you think about it when it pertains to cats. But when it comes to snowy driving and also snowy sidewalks, so this could technically be in the home category, but we're gonna talk about it in the car category. So having a bag of kitty litter in the trunk of your car can be a really wonderful thing if you find yourself in a spot where your car has lost traction because it's either icy or snowy and you don't have any way to create traction. If you don't have chains, if you don't have studded snow tires or something and maybe you're out driving and all of a sudden you find yourself in a slippery spot, putting down some kitty litter can provide you with some traction to get your car out of, out of wherever it is. All right, so the bonus eighth category. I know I said seven and a bonus, whether it's eight or it's a bonus. So this one is all about prep projects. So when you're at home, winter time, you're not probably going outside a ton. There's all kinds of different things happening. And a lot of people have kind of taken on these new prep projects to find things to do during COVID or during the winter time. Costco has some great tools that can help you with a lot of these prep projects. 
First off is their storage bins. So one of the things that I've been working on at home is organization, trying to kind of reorganize a lot of supplies and things like that. There's lots of people that are trying to reorganize closets and, and doing the KonMari and all of that sort of thing. So Costco has great tubs for storage. The black tubs are wonderful and we've used those for camping. We actually can strap them to the roof of the car. They have the little divots on the lids so you can put a ratchet strap over it and tie it down and, and it's really sturdy and stable. Those are fantastic, especially if you don't wanna see what's inside of it. The clear tubs are good. My preference for clear tubs is actually the Sterilite tubs, which you can get at Target or Fred Meyer, but they're much more expensive. So if you're looking for doing a lot of organization or you're on a budget more, these are fantastic tubs. Uh, they're square. I don't really like the tubs with the rounded edges because they end up, you can't really pack them as well if they have the rounded edges and they take up more kind of space on a shelf with the protrusion on the ends. If you have the square edges, they stack better, they store better, you can fit more things in them more efficiently. So I really like those and these actually have that kind of square side to them. There are a lot of people talking about food preservation as well and Costco has some great ideas for that. So the Food Saver Vacuum Sealer, they have that. We have one, uh, we got it when we were married uh, for our wedding and we used it for seven, eight, 10 years. We haven't used it in the last couple of years just because life has been busy and we haven't really had that. We've been working on gardening projects and other things. So we haven't really done the food saving thing, but when we did it, it was great. And we saved a ton of money by buying bulk food, especially meat, and then putting it in the food saver, freezing it, putting it in our chest freezer. So another thing is if you're looking for ways to save money, especially because maybe we're not eating out as much, maybe you're trying to build an emergency fund, things like that, using the food saver to buy bulk food and vacuum seal it is a fantastic, fantastic project. On the cooking side, if you're looking to do more home cooking things, the crock pot and the instant pot are absolute winners. We have both of those. You can make fantastic food in each of them. Crock pot is a slower process. I think we all know that. So making soups and chilies and things like that is great in the crock pot. And then you can make a big batch, put it in the freezer, freeze it. They work fantastic. The instant pot can make broth like nobody's business. I've made chicken stock in there. It takes about two hours to do it the way that I the way that I do it. But I know a lot of people, if you're doing it in a crock pot or in a, in a stock pot, can take four, five, six, eight, ten 10 hours, depending on how you're doing it. So being able to throw some chicken carcasses and some vegetables in the Instant Pot and in two hours have fresh bone broth is fantastic. And then I can take whatever we don't use, freeze it, you could vacuum seal it if you wanted to, put it in the freezer and you have it always available. So those are some items that are gonna really help you if you are starting to dabble in some of these kind of more prep projects, I'm gonna call them. Uh, they're really just projects, but we'll call them prep projects. So that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope these tips were helpful. I hope as winter is, you know, we've been saying winter is coming for a very long time, I feel like. Well, winter is finally about to be here. So hopefully these will help keep you warm and safe and happy for the next couple of months as the snow and the ice and everything else comes and you know gives us a, a solid end to 2020 and a hearty beginning to 2021. If there's any things that you see at Costco or Sam's Club, let us know. I, you know, Sam's Club seems to be a wonderful place to shop. I wish we had one nearby, but if you are a Sam's Club member and you know of some winter preps that are available at Sam's Club, put them in the comments below. If you're at Costco, put them in the comments below so that other people, if they're different assortments and different areas, can see what they should maybe be going to check out. We'll try to, I gotta try to schedule like a Sam's Club video trip sometime. Do you think we should do that? Let me know also in the comments. There's a lot of things you could leave in the comments below. Um, in the meantime, here again is our new cool subscribe animation. If you haven't already, hopefully you've liked the video uh, enough to hit the like button and the subscribe button uh, and the bell notification, which I haven't really talked about before, but now I've got a bell notification thing going on. So make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll be aware of when we launch new videos. Uh, I'm trying to do it every week now again. So uh, we'll cross our fingers on that. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thanks again for stopping by and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye-bye.